Hello, this is Mr. Led Zeppelin. Well, you know my name. Uh, I'm just bored, so I'm making another video. It's off the black album. Let me get it set up. I'm going to be reading Metallica's biography as we listen to The Lucky Song Is Wherever I May Roam. Now let's open up Metallica's biography. Just hold on. Metallica is an American heavy metal band from Los Angeles, California, formed in 1981. Founded when drummer Lars Ulrich posted an advertisement in a local newspaper, Metallica's lineup has primarily consisted of Ulrich, rhythm guitarist and vocalist James Hetfield, and lead guitarist Kirk Hammond, while going through a number of bases. Currently, the spot is held by Robert Trujillo. Metallica's early releases include fast tempo, instrumentals, and aggressive musicianship that place them on one of the big four of the thrash metal subgenre, alongside Slayer, Megadeth, and Anthrax during the genre's development into a popular style. The band earned a growing fan base in the underground music community and critical acclaim with the 1986 release, Master of Puppets, described as one of the most influential and heavy metal thrash metal albums. The band achieved substantial commercial success with their self-titled album, released in 1991, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. With this release, the band expanded its musical direction, resulting in an album that appeared that appealed to a more mainstream audience. In 2000, Metallica was among several artists who filed a lawsuit against Napster for sharing the band's copyright protected material for free without the band members' consent. A settlement was reached and Napster became a pay-to-use service. Despite reaching number one on the Billboard 200, the release of Saint Anger alienated many fans with the exclusive guitar solos and the steel-sounding snare drum. A film that titled Some Kind of Monster documented the recording process of Saint Anger. Metallica has released nine studio albums, two live albums, two EPs, 24 music videos, and 45 singles. The band has won nine Grammy Awards and has five consecutive albums to debut at number one on the Billboard 200, making Metallica the only band other than the Dave Matthews Band to do so. 
The band's 1991 album, Metallica, has sold over 15 million copies in the United States and 22 million copies worldwide, which makes it the 25th highest selling album in the country. The band has sold an estimated 100 million records worldwide in the release of their latest album, Death Magnetic. As of September 2008, Metallica is the fourth highest selling music artist since the SoundScan era began tracking sales on May 25, 1991, selling a total of 51,136,000 albums in the United States alone. That was just basics. Now, welcome to the history. Now, before I read any more, this might go into a part two. Metallica's got a big biography. Alright. Metallica was formed in Los Angeles, California in early 1981 when drummer Lars Ulrich placed an advertisement in a Los Angeles newspaper, The Recycler, which read, Drummer for looking other metal musicians, the Tigers of Pang Tang, Diamond Head, and Iron Maiden. Yeah, drummer that, well, whatever. Guitarist James Hetfield and Hugh Tanner of Le Leather Charm answered the advertisement. Although he had not formed the band, Ulrich asked, Metal Blade Records founder Brian Slagan if he could record a song for the label's upcoming compilation Metal Massacre. Slagan accepted and Ulrich recruited Edfield to sing and play rhythm guitar. Ulrich talked to his friend Ron Quintana who was brainstorming names for a band Qu Quintana has proposed the names Metal Mania and Metallica. Ulrich used Metallica for the name of his band. A second advertisement was replacing the recycler for a position as the guitarist. Song's ending. Alright. Alright. That was a good song. Okay. Dave Mustaine answered, and after seeing his expensive guitar equipment, Ulrich and Hetfield recruited him. At early 1982, Metallica recorded its first original song, Hit the Lights, for the Metal Massacre compilation. Hetfield played bass on the song, and Lloyd Grant was credited with the guitar solo. Released on June 14, 1982, early pressings of Metal, Ma Metal Massacre listed the band incorrectly as Metallica with a double T instead of one T. Although angered by the error, Metallica managed to create enough buzz with the song, and the band played its first live show on March 14, 1982, at Radio City in Anaheim, California, with newly recruited bassist Ron McGovney. Yeah. Metallica recorded its first demo, Power Metal, a featured bass Cliff Burton in a band called Trauma, the two were blown away by Burton's use of a wah-wah pedal and asked him to join Metallica. Hetfield and Mustaine wanted McGovney out as they thought he didn't contribute anything, he just followed. Although Burton initially declined the offer, by the end of the year he accepted on the condition of the band and moved to El Credo in the San Francisco Bay Area. Metallica's first live performance with Burton at the nightclub, The Stone, in March of 1983, and the first recording to feature Burton was the 1983 Megaforce demo. Still have some time. Metallica was ready to record its debut album, but when Metal Blade was unable to cover the additional cost, the, be the band began looking for other options. Concert promoter Johnny Z. Zazula, who had heard the 1982 No Life to Leather demo, offered to broker a record deal with Metallica and New York City, New York City based record labels. After receiving no interest from various record labels, Zazula borrowed the money to cover the record's re recording budget and signed Metallica to his own label. Megaforce Records. Band members decided to kick Mustaine out of the band due to drug and alcohol abuse and violent behavior. <sighs> Exodus guitarist Kirk Hammett flew in to replace Mustaine the same afternoon. Metallica's first show with Hammett was on April 16, 1983 at the nightclub 
the show place in Dover, New Jersey. Alright, running out of time, so goodbye.